how to install a short stop for the stop tap. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video, I did a video recently where I froze a pipe because I couldn't get into my stop tap. So in today's video, I'm gonna take the cupboard out, uh, take the bottom of the plinth off, which I've already took the plinth off already, and we're gonna install a short stop. I've got a few bits here. I've got some earth wire. So this, this body on this short stop is plastic. So I just want to, really important really, I want to make sure that we're continuing the metal part of the pipe to make sure that it stays safe. I've got some earth clamps and I've also got some, uh, I've got pipe deburr as well. So yeah, let's get on with it. So I'm just going to cut the back of the cupboard out on this. If you have a look on this, the, the actual stop tap is just underneath, under there. There's a hole there, but I've got a broken hand, I've got a bad hand, I've got actually um, got a screw in my hand. So I can't get in and I can't turn the stop tap. So I'm just going to put a short stop, maybe, maybe up here somewhere. Um, so I'm going to cut back that cupboard out and it's a bit of a mess in there. So I'll, ch I'll probably change that as well, but just for now, I'm going to cut it out with this multi-tool. Um, I don't know if anybody uses a multi-tool, but these are absolutely brilliant for the job we do. So what I'll do is I'll cut this out, and uh, yeah, we'll get on with it. So I've exposed the, the main pipe there, which is this one here, and it's got a drain off on there. Now I could turn the stop tap off, so we're going to turn the main stop tap off. I could turn the main stop tap off, and I could open that drain off. If I'm honest, I don't really want to touch that because I think it might leak. So I'm just gonna try and put a bit of a rag or something in there. What we'll do, we'll turn the main stop tap off. I'll open some of the taps, I'll get as much water out as I can. And then I'm probably just gonna put a bit of blue roll and a bit of a tub and just catch some of the water. So um, we'll do that, do that shortly. Also, we're gonna have to clean this pipe work up here, this copper pipe, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put the short stop in here. Also, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a zerf clamp, and just below here, just below stop stop tap, I'm gonna put an earth clamp on, and then just above where we're gonna work, um, I'm gonna put another earth clamp on. Obviously, clean all the pipe work up, and I'm gonna connect the pipes together with with the earth wire. Now the reason I'm going to do that is, if there's an issue with the electric, and I'm not an electrician, so um, you know, don't take anything I say to do with electrics as factual. But what we're trying to do is, if we, if, as a gas engineer, if we remove a gas meter, we put temporary earth clamps on so that the, we don't get shock. Um, and that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to put this in, but instead of it being temporary, because we're to, because we're putting. Because we're putting the short stop in and the body on this is plastic, what I'm going to do is leave that in so it's still got, if there's any stray electric, uh, electricity currents or all like that, it's still got a route to, to earth. Um, I hope that makes sense. If anybody else can explain that a little bit better than me, please put some comments below, really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's turn the stop tap off and we'll drain it down. So for now, I've just put a temporary earth clamp on here. And as I said, I'm just going to turn, turn the water off underneath. What you can also do is go around the rest of the house and you can open the tap. So open as many taps as you can. Always remember to turn them off afterwards. You don't want to put stop tap back on and then, you know, you end up things leaking all over. So just drain the rest of the water out now and then I'm going to cut into the pipework then below. So I've cleaned the pipework up now, the copper, where we're going to cut it out. I've got some cutters. I've also got a stop end, push fit stop end. Just in case, I always I always carry one of them. So top tip from a plumber. Always have one of them in your pocket ready. Underneath, I've got a tray. 
I've also got a little, what you can use for radiators. And that just diverts the water. So as I cut into this, any water should go in that tray below. So let's cut into it. Oh, just one thing to point out. On your cutters, I don't know if you can see on there. It's got an arrow. So it shows you which way around you're gonna turn your cutters. So I'm just gonna cut. I'm just gonna cut into that now. Another thing that I've got just ready here, just got a little bit of blue roll. Just ready just in case. You might get a bit of water coming out of this front pipe work just above it to tap. There should shouldn't be too much. I'm gonna cut this pipe work out, I think, above here. It's it's a bit of a mess to be honest. Maybe I'll do that in a in another video maybe. So you can see there I've got a bit of water. It's going down, hopefully it's going onto that. And hopefully it's going into the tub below. We're also gonna have to cut some of this pipe work out here. And then we're gonna have to try and get a push fit onto this. One thing I always say in all my videos really is always make sure you read the installation instructions. What we're going to do now, we're going to cut a section of copper out on there. And when you read the instructions, it actually tells you the measurement that you need to cut out. And it says for 15 mil, for a 15 millimeter valve, we need to cut out, remove 55 millimeter of pipe. Now one tip I would say as well, mark the pipe afterwards so once you've cut your section out mark it so that you know that when you've pushed this on because obviously it's a push fit in that you know that it's gone incorrectly and also the pipe above mark that so on here i've got a black permanent marker and i've marked the distance from from the end of here to there i've marked that on the pipe so that i know that this has gone fully on and and same on the other side as well Another thing on this valve, it's actually got an arrow on it, so it shows you which direction you need to put it on. So obviously we've got our flow, it's coming in from the mains in the street there and into the house. So on our valve, we're going to do it that way, in that direction. So all I'm going to do now, this section of the pipework here, we've got a bit of play, but we'll see if we can get it in. But I'm going to push this bottom bit on. And then we'll lift the pipework up below and then we'll try and slot the top pipework into there as well. Sorry I had me heading way a little bit then, but hopefully you can see what I was trying to achieve there. We're pushing the push fit pipes onto the copper pipe. We've marked it, and because we've marked it, we know that we've pushed it on enough. So hopefully we won't have any issues with them leaking or anything like that. If you're a plumber or DIY or anybody who's installed one of these, if you've had any issues with them, please put a comment below, let me know. And what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna fit the remote switch now. So we've got a few few wires here, just took these out. And one side of this goes into the bottom of the short stop. And then we cut it to length if we need to. And then the other side then is gonna go into this switch here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this switch on the inside of the cupboard here, but it'll just be a lot easier for me to get to afterwards. And I won't need to remove the plinth every time I want to turn water off. Obviously, I've got a lot of projects to do in this house and I don't want the hassle. But if, you, if you've got any customers that are elderly or would struggle with a stop tap, then this is 
this is maybe a solution. I've personally installed maybe about 10 of these over years. I've never personally had any issues. I have heard of people saying they have had issues with them. So as I say, please put a comment below and let me know what you think to them. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's put the rest of it on. I do apologize, it is a little bit dark in this cupboard. Um, so I'm just gonna show you best I can. So on this valve here, underneath, we've just got two holes, and then what we're doing, we just want to push these push fit pipes. Don't know if you can see on them. But they're actually just pipes. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna push them in on the holes underneath here. And there's a certain distance, if you have a look in the installation instructions, it tells you how long these should be. And again, you could mark them if you wanted to. What I would do is I just feel for them pushing in. You can normally tell, to be honest. As you're pushing it in, it sort of pushes past. And then same with the other one as well. And it, as I say, I'm sorry about this is not the best video for this, but you can see that it's just pushed in. The tubes on this are quite long, so I'm going to cut them down. When you do cut them down, I'm just going to cut them with, I'm just going to cut them with wire cutters, but um, just make sure that it, the, the end is okay and it's round and there's no damage to it. Maybe you might, you might be better to use a sharp knife, but as I say, I'm going to cut it down. I've also cut this, this protective bit off it as well, so I'll cut this down as well. And I'm going to just put it neatly inside this cupboard here. But make sure that these are pushed in. These pipes are fully pushed in on there. And then, as I say, we'll just cut this down now. And these, as I say, this is, this is really long. So if you wanted to put it up above unit, if it were in somebody an elderly person's house then you could do personally i don't need to do that i'm just going to put it on the inside of this cupboard up here where it's at where so nobody's going to knock it but if i want to work on this house and do any work i can easily just turn it on and off as and when i need to so what i'm going to do now we'll install the switch up here and again, for the switch, we'd read the installation instructions, but they're quite clear what you need to do. You cut this down, you cut the tube down, so you've got the right amount to go into the switch. So if we just open this, have a look in there. Again, on that switch there, have a look there, it's just got some push fit connections. And all you're doing, this blue pipe you're pushing that into the connection but first of all we just need to cut these tubes down so they're the right size so that we can put this cable tie on afterwards there look so that's what we're going to do so if we get that put that into there Put that past there and then we'll put this cable tie through there it's always going to be awkward when you when you're trying to film Obviously, we would connect this switch onto the wall if we needed, if we wanted to do it first. But then, what we're going to do? Pull these pipes. These pipes are going to go around, around there, and around there, and then they're going to connect into this switch in here. So I'm just going to do that now and put that. That'll go on there then. 
because they've got connections on there. I'm just going to push one of these pipes. I've cut the pipes down now. So I'm just going to cut that, uh, push that into that push fit connection there. And then when you push it in, you need to sort of push it in some more because there's like a bit of a resistance. And then same with this one as well. Push this one in, try and make it so you can see it on camera. That's the awkward bit. And just see on there, I've just not quite got it round. So you just need to make sure that edge is okay. And then just push that in there. And again, once you've pushed it in, just push it a bit more and make sure that it's fully in. If it's not fully in, it'll leak. And then once we've done that, we can screw that up in place. And then we can just push the switch back on there. And then we can turn the mains water on and then it'll work then. And then you might want to just tie it wires up, clip them, untangle them, whatever. Just make it neater, however you want to do it. So that's how you install the show stop. I've still got to put the earth wire clamping on, which you don't really need to see me do that. I'm going to turn, turn the stop tap back on now and just make sure there's no leaks. Turn water on. So I'll put all this back together now. Uh, one thing to remember, always read the installation instructions. They may change. This is just how I put one of these taps in. Um, but yeah, I, I, my personal opinion, I've not been sponsored by, um, I'm not sure even who makes this, but um, I don't get poly, poly pipe. I've actually had this for about five years. I was gonna install it on my last house. Might be, might be three years actually. I was going to install it at my last house, but I just never got around to it. Um, so I'm not sponsored by them at all. Um, they've not contacted me. Um, personally, I think I think they're a good a good thing to have. Um, nice and easy to turn stop tap on and off. But again, please put your comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've installed them. Let me know if you really like them. If you don't like them. If you've had issues with them. Again, put your comments below. And, and let me know. Thanks for watching.